thought for the day. Never lower your standards for anyone or anything. Self-respect is everything. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we discuss how to move from self-neglect to self-respect. Have a listen. See, I spent 30 years as an alcoholic and an addict. I spent 17 years homeless. I remember the first day I ever went to the shelter. Once they got me processed in, the lady behind the counter, she said, excuse me, sir, what are you doing here? You don't belong here. I remember the first day I ever ate out of a trash can. I felt so repulsed by it. In the beginning, I would wait till the wee hours of the morning, and I would go downtown Dallas and go trash can to trash can looking for food. I would wait to that time because I wanted no one to see me until one Saturday evening, about 1130. The party goers are going back and forth, and there I am, digging in the trash. But all that would change for me in June of 2016 because of a random act of kindness. A good deed, if you will. See, I had begun selling these homeless newsletters, and there was a conference going on at the convention center downtown Dallas. And I was there at this time. I don't know who the person was that was hosting the conference, nor the type of people that were attending. But I quickly found out that they were nice. The worst thing that ever happened to me while I was out there was for a person not to speak to me, not to acknowledge me. Even after I look them right in the eyes and be as polite as I can, they would just walk right on by. So right at that moment, I felt dejected, and I dropped my head. I heard someone say, hey, and I look up. It's that first person. He had stopped. He says, come here. He got a couple of bucks in his hands. I start smiling. He said, now listen, I'm going to give you this. What you need it for, what you use it for, I don't know, and I don't care. He said, but you got to make me a promise that you find a way to pay it forward. He says, when you pay it forward is when your true blessings come. I said, wow, thank you, sir. However, can I explain to you what street zine is? See, I didn't want him to think that I was paying him or asking for something for nothing. He says, sure. When I got through explaining it to him, he says, you know what? I want to apologize to you. He says, I'm an advocate for the homeless, and the last thing I want to do is be disrespectful. He said, do you mind if I take your picture? I say, do you mind if I pray for you? See, I come to realize two things I'm supposed to do. That's love God and love his people. So what more can someone who has nothing offer other than prayer? I prayed for him, he videotaped it. When I got through, he went on by his way. I stayed there another 10, 15 minutes. Still didn't have no luck. So I went back up to the convention center. As I'm walking up the steps, a lady that I had met the night before motions me to come have a seat beside her. And she's on her phone and she's texting. She says, listen, I got to go inside and see someone. You're not going anywhere, are you? I said, I'll be right here. She said, I'll be right back. She goes inside to see this guy who just so happened is watching the video of me pray for this other guy. As it turns out, they were all crew members for the person hosting the conference, Tony Robbins. They bring this guy out and they introduce me to him. He says, let's go inside. I'm thinking, he's like, let's get out the heat because it was hot. He walks me over to the registration table and he registered me to attend the last two days of this conference. They sit me in the VIP section. I went in my seat five minutes. And someone walked up to me, here, you're going to need this, some food. Somebody right behind them with some water. Someone right behind them with a blanket. Instantly, I started thinking to myself, who are these people? Right. How do they know me? But most importantly, what do they want from me? I would quickly find out they wanted nothing from me. Instead, they wanted something for me. And that was an opportunity at a new way of life, a new way of living. So what are your takeaways? Three things. First and foremost, if you or someone you know is suffering from the disease of addiction or alcoholism, there's hope. See, I understand what it feels like to be out there and to be hopeless. Not helpless, but hopeless. I literally thought I would spend the rest of my life eating out of trash can and doing dope. 
I thought I would die on those streets. But love brought me out of it. The crew just loved on me until I started loving myself. And today, I do love me. Two, a random act of kindness. I am the product of a random act of kindness. You never know how you'll impact a person's day or life by doing so. Imagine the change, the impact we can have on the world if more of us did random acts of kindness. So I encourage you all, do a good deed, a random act of kindness for someone who doesn't look like you, who wouldn't hang in your circle. Finally, gratitude. Become more grateful. Develop more of an attitude of gratitude, not for the big things, but for the small things, the everyday stuff, the stuff we take for granted. For me, it's something as simple as a glass of water. See, I remember walking downtown Dallas having no money in my pocket. And since I had no money and nobody give water away, everybody sell water, I had to find a water sprinkler, water in the grass, and bend down on my knees to get something to drink. <clears throat> How often have you went to the pantry or the refrigerator and it's full of food, and then you walk away and say there's nothing in there to eat? While I don't eat out the trash today, I know there's somebody that still is. So today, even if it's just a bologna sandwich or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I'm grateful for it. How often have you put on a change of clothes or some clean clothes and don't stop to be grateful for it? When the crew started helping me, all the clothes I owned were the clothes I had on my back and no telling how long I had them on. Today, when I put on a clean pair of underwear, I'm grateful for it. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.